Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel, and today we're going to be taking a look at all the new Warzone Cold War news that has just dropped on the, t on the game, and I'm actually very excited for this. As you can probably see in the background right now, we're on Charlie Intel's Twitter, shout out to him, uh, I'll leave his link top of the description, he's always the plug, everyone knows Charlie Intel, he's the man for the news on Call of Duty. Uh, but yeah guys, if you do enjoy the video, smash big thumbs up, let me know your thoughts on all the Warzone stuff in the comments below. How excited are you guys for Warzone slash Cold War to integrate? I'm very, very excited personally. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel with notifications, turn on, so don't miss any more videos on the channel. I'm on the road to 5k subs by the end of the year. If you can help me hit that, that'd be absolutely amazing. But I'm going to jump straight into this news right now. So in case any of you guys did miss all of this sort of stuff, this dropped last night or dropped yesterday uh, for all the Warzone news. So what we got is our first like roadmap and it is obviously for season one so warzone has got the new warzone map rebirth island obviously we saw this in the trailer that did drop a couple of days ago we've got a new gulag experience it looks like the map's going to be sort of like it almost looks like a mini nuke town if you like it literally looks like a mini nuke i've also seen another screenshot of the gulag experience i can't remember if charlie until tweeted that one as well but we'll find that in a minute the expanded expanded arsenal obviously it's going to be the cold war guns integrated with the warzone guns it's going to be very very cool to see how these do play out uh, weapons and operators we've got a new assault rifle which sort of looks a bit like the qbz already i can't quite work out what it is you've got the mac 10 i mean and then you've got the the street sweeper shotgun which is a bit weird because i'm pretty sure aren't isn't the mac 10 already in the game which i don't understand um the grozer isn't already in the game unless it looks like the qbz and it's just going to be the qbz i'm not too sure what it is um but obviously the street sweeper shotgun we haven't had yet so that's going to be cool to use uh, a new shotgun in especially in newtown you know everyone loves a shotgun in newtown you got new elite operators. You got Zenya, um, or Zena, sorry. You got Stitch and also Bulldozer. Bulldozer looks sick. I like that skin. I'm a massive fan. That's probably what you're gonna find me rocking in Warzone Season One. Uh, Stitch obviously looks pretty badass as well, but you know, I, I think I'm gonna go with the ball, the boy Bulldozer. Uh, we've got two v two gunfight maps. I'm not too sure how many, how much of this you can see. Um, so there's just one that looks like a sort of train sort of area. You got the ICBM again. I can't really work out what it is. You've got the KGB and then the game show, which just looks like a game show room for if you can't see. I don't think you can quite see that. Um, more multiplayer maps. We've got the Pines, which says Mall at the Pines. I'm not sure if it's going to be in the mall or just outside of the mall. We've got Newtown 24 or Newtown 84 Holiday. So it's just dark with Christmas lights all over it pretty much, which is sick to be fair. Uh, Raid 6v6, obviously coming back. Raid's massive. I love Raid, man. What a map it was in its day. And hopefully it's just as good now. Uh, and then you've got Sanatorium for Fire Team. So that's going to be one that obviously is a fire team map, not 6v6. New multiplayer game modes, prop hunt 6v6 and drop kick 6v6. Obviously prop hunt, you're going to make yourselves into lampposts, bins, arcade machines, all kinds of different fun stuff. And just try and hide from your opponents. I'm not too sure what drop kick's all about. Um, I've not actually seen too much of that. I believe it might be something to do with a case and you have to protect the case, I think. I could be completely wrong at that point. We've got new vehicle and score streaks coming with the tactical raft, which is just going to be a vehicle from assuming like Armada, um, whatever other maps have got water as well. And then we've got the harp, which sort of, if you can see that, you can indeed see that. Looks a little bit like a VTOL jet, so hopefully it's like an advanced UAV. It'd be super sick to have an advanced UAV come into the game because we need something like that. In terms of zombies, there's a new mode cranked. Uh, I'm assuming it just is going to crank everything up. It's going to be a bit more intense than normal. And then we've got new mode jingle hells, which sort of looks like... Um, I'm not too sure what it looks like. I can't really work out in the, in the background, but I'm hoping the fact that it's like Nuketown 24 set or Nuketown 84 has got a holiday twist. It might be zombies on Nuketown. I used to love playing zombies on Nuketown, man. But I'm not too sure if it's just going to be uh, the map that we've already got with like a a, a Christmas um, change up on it. So Christmas lights around the map and sort of, sort of fun stuff like that, which it kind of does look like, to be fair. It looks like the stairs with the broken railing for you guys that do play zombies in that starting room. You sort of all know what I'm talking about. And then, of course, we've got the 100 tiers of Battle Pass content. Super excited to get back into a Battle Pass again, guys. Like, we love the Battle Pass and it's just sick. Um, some more prestige emblems, by the way, just quickly while we're covering it. And with season one, four new prestiges arrive. So prestige four, five, six, and seven. Hopefully you guys will hit prestige seven if you haven't already hit prestige three. Go get your levels in. Go grind the game right now. But there's sick emblems actually. I really like this prestige five and prestige seven one. I think a prestige seven one looks really, really sick with them roses in it. I'm just a big fan of that. Uh, but anyway, you're not here for that. 
Um, so the harp is actually show both enemy positions and their direction. So yeah, the harp is going to be an advanced UAV, which is exactly what we've been looking for. So obviously this thing just covers on December 16th. Everything you do in Cold War or Warzone or Modern Warfare will all count together. Weapon XP, um, anything like that. Obviously you're not going to use the Cold War weapons in Modern Warfare. You're only going to use them in Warzone. But any of the guns you use in Warzone, you're going to get we weapon XP for them. You're going to level them up. You're going to get camos and stuff done for them uh, in Cold War as well as Warzone, which is sweet. So in season one of zombies for you guys that do like the zombies, it's going to be two new modes, uh, split split screen support and also daily and seasonal challenges for you zombie people that enjoy playing zombies. And it does sort of look like it's just going to be the original map with a Christmas theme on. As you can see, a snowman back here. And then you've got the dogs with like um, antlers and Christmas lights on them and baubles and shit like that. So we've got some new weapons coming later into season one, which is the uh, street swiper shotgun or whatever it's called. Uh, street sweeper, sorry, street sweeper shotgun. We've got the sledgehammer looking thing, and uh, we have got a like katana looking knife kind of thing, which is actually called the wakazashi. Okay, we'll take it. It looks kind of good though. I don't really like the fact of put that many melee weapons in. I don't really see the point in having that many melee weapons. I'd rather just put some guns in that can be fun to use. Can change up the way people play Warzone and different things like that. But it it is what it is. So new weapons available in the battle pass is going to be the Mac 10 SMG. Which, I mean, we have it anyway, which is kind of confusing. I don't really get why we've been given a MAC-10. Oh, no, we don't. We've got the Milano. I swear they called it the MAC-10 to start off with, but it's actually not. We've got the Milano. The MAC-10 is actually a pretty decent gun. I just clocked it. The MAC-10 is actually like an old gun. Uh, what gun was that from? I can't remember. It's a pretty fast-firing SMG, sorry. And then we've got the Groza AR. I'm not too sure what that is. It looks like a little version of an AK, which would technically be the AK-74U, I guess, but I don't know. Maybe not. Have a quick closer look at the operators as well. Um, as you can see, here they are just in action. There's, there's that guy, Bulldozer, coming through. He just looks like a, he just looks like a gangster. It's one that I definitely want to pick up on. Uh, let me just try and pick up on some more of the new um, Warzone content, which is here, actually. Got the new map, obviously, Rebirth Island. A lot of people are excited for that. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it might be a little bit too small. I'm kind of scared it might be a little bit too small. I'm really hoping it's not, but I just don't know, to be honest. Um... We've got a new mode, Resurgence, not quite sure what that's going to be. They've got new Gulag experience, like we said, and there's a new vehicle, the Attack Helicopter, which is pretty sick as well, to be fair. So, here we are. Here's just a closer look at the 2v2 gunfight maps, for those of you that like your 2v2 tournaments and things like that. These are some maps you can expect to be playing on. They look pretty good. I like the game show room. It looks the best one out of all of them. Obviously, like we said, new fire team uh, map coming back. As you can see, this is the mall at the Pines. Uh, it's, it's a mall. I'm not too sure if it's going to be like this sort of area that you're fighting in. Or if it's actually going to be within the mall. I'm not too sure on that one. We've not got that much information. Obviously, raid. And then the new town 24-7 Halloween. Uh, sorry, Christmas playlist. Halloween, Christmas. As you can see, it's night mode. It's got Christmas lights all over the gaff. So, looks pretty clean in my opinion. Uh, let me just try. There's another one of the Gulag experience that I was talking about. The other screenshot. I just think it's got a little bit too much cover. I'm not too sure how it's going to play out. I'll, I'll, obviously, I'm keeping my eyes open and my mind open to uh, to see how it plays. It just looks like there's a little bit too much cover like around this sort of area. There's a lot of corners to be sat in. I think it might sort of kill off the Nuketown a little bit. Uh, sorry, the Warzone Gulag a little bit, but we'll wait and see. And here is the other map as well. So I'm assuming there's just the two maps like there was back in uh, Modern Warfare. Again, it's just going to be within this confined little area. It looks like a little Nuketown. As you guys can see, it's got the, the truck, it's got the bus, it's got the windows with the ledges, it's got the house. Kind of looks like a wooden version of a Nuketown. So we've actually got a trailer for Rebirth Island. We'll take a quick look at right now. Obviously, the Warzone plane coming over. I just don't know. It just looks a little bit too small for me. Let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. I... I think it looks a little bit too small to be a Warzone map, in my opinion. I liked the size of the Warzone map that we had before. I liked the size of Vardansk. Um, I thought it was like the right sort of size, but this looks kind of small, especially if they're going to keep chucking 150 people at it. I just don't know how well that's going to work with um, with that high number of people on it. As we can see, if we just pause it right here, obviously it doesn't look that big anyway, but then you come in here, and as you can see, it really doesn't look very big at all. So I'm kind of... I don't know, I'm kind of thinking it's going to be a little bit too small. Like I say, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. But, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it's a little bit too small in my opinion. But we'll have to wait and find out. And also, guys, I just want to run you through some of the new menus that we can expect to see. So, here is the game modes. One of them's obviously blocked out for whichever reason. Um, so that we can't see it. It's like a little teaser. I'm not too sure what it's going to be. Hopefully, it's something really sick. Hopefully, it's like stim, uh, 
trio stims or quad stims or whatever. Stims are so good. They should be in the game the entire time because it just is so high paced. I love how high paced it is. Everyone's just coming back all the time. It's just super fun to play. Um, so the barracks tab will get you an up. Will get an update. Your progression won't be shown in the barracks tab anymore. That's moved to the career tab, which you can see right here. Um, barracks will be about player pro slash player profile slash customization as you can see calling cards emblems gestures clan tags um and all of that sort of stuff which is pretty cool i like the look of that as well um in terms of this there's mastery challenges they're going to stay in the game if you didn't finish any don't worry they're still going to be there if you haven't got your first win yet then cool you're going to still get them you're still going to be able to get all of your different challenges done so don't worry if you've not finished any of them guys there's no need to panic and start pushing everything to be done you're still going to get your chance um, the all the content from the shops on the stores are going to be crossing over from Warzone into Cold War and Modern Warfare, which is sick. The only thing that won't be is the vehicles, due to the fact that the vehicle skins um, are different in Modern Warfare and Cold War. They've got different vehicles, so the only things that won't cross over that you need to bear in mind is the vehicle skins, guys. So if you're buying anything, just remember everything will be going into uh, Warzone and Cold War. Um, apart from vehicle skins, as you can see, Battle Pass tiers that feature vehicle skins will have one skin for Cold War and one skin for Warzone. So there's no need to worry about that, guys. All the vehicles will be covered. The new career menu looks like this. It's going to show you your ranks. It's going to show you which, obviously, rank you were up to in Modern Warfare, I'm assuming. So mine was probably like level 500 and something or whatever it was because I don't play. I can't remember how much I played, but then it's going to show you season one, what you got to season one. I'm assuming season two, three, four, five, and six as well. I'm assuming that's how it's going to play. Obviously, your prestige shop with your prestige key, so you can go into them stores, start buying a load of the different double XP things and different things they're going to offer in there. I'm excited to see what they do put in the prestige shop for everyone. Uh, our first look at the Warzone and Cold War uh, integrated weapon menu. They keep the gunsmith the same as in um, Warzone was. It's not the like tier system or not the list system that Cold War have. It's more of the traditional Warzone style, as you can see. You've got the KGB Eliminator. You've got the Spets Naz Grip. You've got the 45 rounds. You've got the Speed Tape, which I like to see that they've done this. Hopefully, I am hoping there is the option to run all eight attachments just to see how well it makes a gun play in Warzone and how them long-range fights do differ in between um, like eight and five attachments. I'm interested to see how that does pay out. And then this is just the menu right now. I believe this is actually in Warzone or right now, the snowy maps. I'm not too sure. I haven't loaded up Warzone since Cold War came out, so I literally don't know. It might be. It may not be. But, um, yeah, man. Daily challenges. Obviously, you've got all the challenges as usual. You've got a not. I like the look of this menu. It looks a bit more clean. It looks a bit more finished. It looks a bit more polished up. So, I'm not too sure what's going to be here. There's a blacked out version here. As we can see, there's a blacked out game mode as well. The challenges are blacked out and of course, I believe it's just the game attack that's blacked out, which makes no difference. Um, but I'm interested to see what's there. Obviously, play then it's something. Weapons, battle pass, operators, career, challenges, barracks and the store. So, I don't know what's going to be there but I'm excited to see what it's going to be. But yeah guys, that is all the Cold War Season 1 Warzone news that we do have. So, if you guys are excited for all of this, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I'm interested to see what everyone's thoughts are on this. Do you think the Warzone map's big enough? Do you think the way that they're integrating it's good enough? Are you looking forward to seeing how eight attachments play? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really interested to see everyone's thoughts. If you have enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up. Let me know, you, like I say, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe with notifications turned on and we'll catch you on the next one. That was it.